I'm basically a stranded deportee in this country. So I ha I can't get my uh, my status back as a legal permanent resident status, and I can't apply for a citizenship or asylum because of my conviction. And so I'm basically living in limbo right now, uh, unknown. At any time that Vietnam and America make a different agreement, that ICE can come and not and, and pick me up and place me through uh, deportation proceedings again. Uh, and deported to a country that I have no ties to. So that is my current status, as well as status of thousands of others across the country facing the same situation. I'm not talking about Vietnamese. I'm also talking about Laos, Min, Hmong, and even some Cambodian folks who have been out for decades, uh, living their life, paying society back, by through taxes, through volunteering in their communities, and even doing some of the work that Asian Prison Support Committee and myself are doing in, you know, in trying to build healing uh, can be taken away, can be destroyed in, you know, in what the government want to do. And so it's a fear. We, we live in constant fear um, of, you know, not knowing that the next day we wake up, we could be taken away from our families, our friends, our community.